Damien Maudet is campaigning hard. With just days before the final round of France's parliamentary election, he says there's no time to waste. Bonjour, madame. An activist and candidate for France's new left-wing alliance in the southwestern city of Limoges, he's trying to rally support in an area where many people abstained in the first round because they're fed up of politicians. But he says he'll be different. I come from here and I want to see MPs that actually represent ordinary people because that's not been the case for five years. There is this hope that we finally have a real opposition to Macron and that we can do something new on issues like climate change. Maudet is leading the race in this constituency. If he wins, he will oust the incumbent, an MP with President Emmanuel Macron's party. A final round runoff between candidates from the new left wing alliance and Macron centrist bloc is taking place in nearly half of France's parliamentary constituencies and could upset the president's chances of obtaining the absolute majority he needs to push through with his agenda. With things looking uncertain, Macron made a rare appeal to voters this week. We need a solid majority to ensure stability, both outside and inside our borders. Nothing could be worse than to add chaos in France to the chaos in the world. Concern over climate change, health and inflation has fueled momentum for the leftist bloc. At Limoges' historical food market, the cost of living is never far from people's minds. People's salaries haven't changed, but everything's going up by 5% or even more for fuel. People worry about the future, about getting to the end of the month. With costs going up, people ask us if we are going to put our prices up. Maudet says that if elected, he would focus on improving health services and work to help people who struggle financially. So far, the left and centrists are neck and neck in terms of votes nationally, but it's estimated that Macron's alliance will win most seats. The numbers may be hard to predict, but those here hope that times are changing. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Limoges, France.